Hello, welcome to another miniature painting video. Uh, I have to apologise. Um, I accidentally messed up. Uh, so my setup was a little. Okay. Hmm. I was planning on this video being a little less rambling, but uh, so my setup was rather garbage. So this here is Bob. Oh. We'll just call him Bob, because I can't think of another name for him. And uh, he was originally a completely black miniature. So, what I did was I took uh, the darkest grey. Now, this is a step you can skip. You could skip the actual painting part of the orc later. But basically, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to paint an orc. But, um, what I did was I took a uh, dark grey... So, for example, a colour like this, right? So close to black that it's almost impossible. Uh, almost, not quite. I would call it a charcoal colour. See, this miniature here would be... is more bl like black. You could just see that this guy has a bit more highlighting on his face than this fella here. Uh... We'll paint him in another video. Um, but basically what I did was I took an old brush. One that's beat up and kind of frazzled and just kind of slapped him with it. Uh, only downwards though. Kind of as if, see this, uh, normally I don't paint with other overhead light. But it, uh, it accentuates the miniature. Helps him, at least for the camera. Uh, for me it looks terrible, but that's my eyes. So, um, you kind of just slap it in the simulation of how the light would hit the miniature. Now this step, this, uh, I mean, I guess it could be the Zeneville method, but this, I just do this to tell myself where the brightest colours of the orc are going to be. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a slightly lighter grey. Uh, something more along the lines of a cobblestone colour. And we're just gonna... Um, just gonna slap him with it. And remember to thin your paints. That's a very important thing. I would show you how I'm thinning my paints, but... It's kind of out of the line of sight. We're just showing you the painting part of the orc. So here's your brush, and you're kind of just gonna slap him with it. Uh... Just kind of going to smack the top of him with it. And, you know, just get it really... Don't be afraid to be rough. I just smack him with it. You know, give Bob a good old punch with your brush. And then don't forget to do his backside too. So allow me to get some more paint. And then kind of just... Excuse me, uh, and just smack it how the light would hit it, right? Don't actually, don't paint the whole model of this. I mean, you can, but you kind of want to simulate how light is hitting it. So you could tell what parts you want to bring out most on the model. So you kind of just want to stroke it and rub off all the grey paint. So now you've got a pretty good idea. Uh-oh. Someone fell. Your tack is not very good, Bob. Uh, for holding a model. Yeah, we'll have a little lesson. Uh, well, we can turn mistakes into a learning lesson. When you do tack to stick a model to something, when you want to paint it, kind of just make a little volcano shape. I forgot to do that. And then you just kind of smush him on. Yeah, uh, this tack isn't very good. It's old. But... And so you kind of got a nice highlight in his face going. And you kind of got, um, you know, just sort of a general idea of how you're going to uh, paint the model. So now let's get to the actual painting part of the orc. The actual part that makes him orky. Now you can do whatever colour you want flesh, but uh, the general consensus for orcs is usually green. So, uh, let's see here, I have to pick the right brush. Uh, 
don't know. So you kind of want to get a uh, flat brush. One that's just kind of... Uh-oh. He's becoming frazzled a little. Just give it a second. Kind of a flat brush. You want one that's uh, sort of, you know, will cover a lot of surface area. And then you want to get this colour. If you have a Games Workshop paint, it's good for you. If not, just get a really dark army green. This is called War Green. You can't really see it because it's dark, but it's War Green. War Flesh, sorry. And um, if you don't have Games Workshop paints, I'll show you what it looks like just for uh, general consensus. So kind of try to get that colour. If you have acrylic paints, mix some paints in. Uh, I'd say if you have a bright, a brighter green like for example uh shamrock like a, this color green uh you would i mean you'd be fine with this too but if you want it to be exactly like that i'd recommend mixing it with a dark gray so what you're gonna do for this i'm thinning it out on my hand as i speak but what you're gonna do for this is you're gonna kind of just you're gonna you're gonna coat him with the uh, the hair there. I really should keep this place a little more clean. But uh you kind of just wanna, you know, cover the spots, but remember how your highlights look. Remember the raised areas. So you kind of just want to paint his skin uh green. Uh-oh, my brush has become fluffy. Hold on, allow me to grab another brush that's a little bit better. Alright, I've gotten a better brush. Uh, now, if you don't have the fortune I do, and tend to have rather dollar store brushes, don't worry. You can do this with any uh, any level brush. Now, one thing I want you to remember is that it is not the tools, it is the artist. As long as you have the skills necessary, you can... You can paint anything, so you kind of just want to make him green. You know, slap him a bit. And just get those details in there. Make him really nice and green. Get all of his skin. Make sure you get all his skin and make it green. Because green is best, as the orcs would tell you. And don't worry about being sloppy during this stage. You'll clean it up later. Uh, so, uh, a lot of people actually will, uh, some people paint their orcs blue, some people paint their orcs red, some people paint their orcs purple, some people paint them like Hello Kitty. It's whatever you like, you can paint the model however you want. This is just a basic tutorial to help people uh, who are just getting started in this hobby. So you just want to slap him with your brush and then just get those little details and kind of just, kind of just make sure you get every little spot because this is your base coat and you want your base coat to be strong and you just want your, your orc to be really uh, prominent. Now, while we wait for the green to dry, uh, we can we can move on to some of his armor and uh, finer detail. Uh oh, almost missed that. But yeah, we'll move on to his armor and finer details, and then we'll come back to the flesh. So this guy's armor is rather fun. Uh, you could colour, uh, the shirt and make the little points, uh, metal, or you could just colour it or whatever. But today we're just going to be doing a really basic orc, uh, just for beginner's sake, because a lot of the audience will want to get those minis on the table and, uh, you know. So you'll want a gunmetal colour. Uh, now this, um, the bottle is a uh, lead belcher, but I made my own mix after I ran out of it. 
So, uh, just a gunmetal, generally a dark grey metallic colour. And you just want to get his, all his little metal details, right? You want to get his helmet, because that's going to, what that's what's going to draw the eye, really, is that little hat he's got on. Again, don't worry about being sloppy. And uh, for this, we're kind of just going to uh, do a really basic thing uh we'll just paint this metal now i know those of you who are looking at it and saying that's cloth or that's like a type of uh, uh kevlar or whatever uh well yeah you'll see let me get done with my video before you start screaming at me um you just want to get him you know Honestly, half of the people would say that this guy's done. Uh, lazy painters out there would say that now he's done. <laughs> but, um, now if you just want to get you guys out on the table, orcs are the best faction for that. They're really, really easy to paint and they're really good for beginners. Uh, so you kind of just want to, you know, slap him a bit. I'll probably colour this chest plate. Yeah, that I'm painting silver just for a little bit of, uh, you know, just something to make him pop out. So we kind of just, uh, uh oh, my thumb's in the way, sorry about that. Kind of just work our way up. Don't worry about being messy. I realised that I've got a little bit of metal there on his face, so, you know, I am using a big brush. But I um, kind of just want to get all the metal details and all the little, all the little things that, uh, that, uh, that would be metallic. So let's just do a little detailing, kind of just get under there. The light, I really shouldn't be doing this part here because the light wouldn't really be hitting it. I'm not trying to do a light-based thing, but, you know, it, it's still more of a, it's a look type thing. And, uh, yeah. So, um, I'll tidy up his face there, and I'll actually get his knees, because I forgot that, um, that's a kilt. Okay, right, time to tidy him up a bit. Uh, so... Forgot to tidy his skin a bit. This is a little all over the place, but it's okay. This is a learning experience. You're learning to paint, and I'm learning how to make a painting video. Uh-oh. Brush is getting frazzled again. Uh, but basically, you just want to kind of just tidy up any spots. Like my old art teacher used to say way back in uh, kindergarten... If you make a mistake, just paint over it. Probably not the best idea for models, but it can certainly apply most of the time. Just don't keep painting over it until it looks like a blob. Uh, you just kind of get in there. You know, you really want to accentuate the green and the spots that would, you know, be green uh, sorry just uh, it's kind of on autopilot when I'm painting and then there's a little spot right here I got with the the metal uh, so yeah I mean that's that's an okay base coat but we're gonna still add a little some more details uh, like his little um oh what do you call it what what Whatever, his thing. And we'll uh, colour his little kilt, something, some sort of colour. Uh, so what we'll want to do for the arrow um, sheath or... Uh, gosh, I really can't think of the name of it. Uh, whatever that thing is. Um, we kind of want to go a Zandri dust colour. Now, this will just be... Uh, usually like a khaki colour, uh, kind of like this. 
I've mixed this thing uh, several times, so it could probably be way off as Andrew does, but you kind of just want a, in general, khaki tan colour. Uh, maybe darken it up with some grey, uh, or something along the lines of that. Uh, let me just thin it, make sure it doesn't blob all over it, and, you know, just cover this with it. Quiver, that's what it's called. It's a, called a quiver. Uh, don't worry about being sloppy. Uh, most of the sloppiness can be covered up by washes anyways. Uh, and so his little gauntlets on his hands. Let's just do a little bit of matching here and we'll colour those too. And make him... I know they're probably supposed to be metal, but you know what? It's my model and I'll paint it how I want. I just wipe that away. Always have a spare brush on hand uh, to kind of sop up paint if you make a mistake. So, you know, just to kind of absorb it. At least that's what I learned. But, you know. Uh oh. Uh, just as I teach you to to fix a mistake, I'll make another one. But again, don't worry about being sloppy. That's just my OCD. Don't worry about being sloppy. So remember, this is a very basic model painting tutorial. So he doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry, we're not winning any awards yet. Not yet. I'll teach you how to win awards. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that good. But, um... I'm good enough to show you how to paint, and bingo, and all that, uh, yeah, I think that's good, I just want to get in there, uh, don't worry, uh, we'll cover up any mistakes later, well, not later, I just, uh, uh -oh. sorry about that. It's kind of funny paying attention to the camera and then the model because the camera is much more zoomed in than my actual eyeballs are. So it's a little weird seeing double where I'm trying to make sure that um, my big fat fingers aren't in the way because I do have really big hands. Uh, okay. Oh, well, that's... Technical difficulties. Oops. Anyways. <laughs> uh, we can cut that part out, right? I will. If we don't, uh, who cares? Uh, so, next we will be doing uh, all the brown colours. Uh, oh, you know what? No, um, I apologise. So what you want to do, we'll do his teeth too, because they will be a kind of white, uh, close to khaki colour. You want, uh, you kind of want a small flat brush for this. Depends on how much detail you want to do. You could just paint it this colour. I'm using the same colour, the uh, Xandra Dust Khaki Tan. You could just paint it this colour and call it done. But, uh, you know, yeah. Bob here is going to get some special treatment. Uh, uh oh. Got a little on his lip there, that's okay. Uh, Sorry, I've never painted a model from this far away before, so it's a little bit different. Usually I have the model super close to me. Alright, and we can just use our uh, spare brush here to kind of kind of rub that out there. I'm going to sop that up. And it's okay if you don't get it. Yeah. I'll just clean it up. There you go. Uh-oh. 
rubbed a little bit of his green off. That's okay, we're going to highlight that. No, no OCD, I apologise. That was a mistake. Technical difficulties, but again, this is a learning experience for both of us. All of us. I don't know how many people are watching this. He's got a couple of pimples there, I just noticed that. We'll make those look gross, just uh, as a bonus. Oh, goodness, apologies. This chair is really squeaky, and my legs need to be stretched because they are monstrous. Um, so now we're going to work with the brown colours. And the brown colours are, well, that's a bit of a difficult one for me. Now, you could use multiple brown colours. A lot of people have this if they bought the uh, Citadel like starter kits, Mournfang Brown. Mourn, yeah, Mournfang. Uh, but um, I don't know. I don't really like it that much because it's kind of too bright um, for uh, like you know uniforms and such. So what you want to do here? Um, I made my own. It's kind of this color. It's a it's a dark, kind of chocolatey, you know, more of a, um, oh, goodness, I'm trying to think of the colour. Uh, it, it's more of a, like, a barkish, you know, kind of, it's in the middle of, like, dark and light brown. It's the perfect midpoint. It's almost like grey for browns. That's a dumb statement, but you get what I mean. So we'll take our brown. Now remember, uh, try to get something that looks like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, this is just a guideline. You can use whatever colour you want. It's your model after all. So, we'll just get some on our big brush, or our flat brush. I'm thinning it out at the moment. And we'll just kind of paint the parts that would be, that would be, uh, you know, earthier, browner. Uh, is, uh, and not everything has to be a different colour. Let me emphasise that right now. Uh, especially if you're playing a game like Warhammer 40k, where, uh, um, I'm using my fingers just to make it point. Uh, I really should take better care of my brushes, to be honest. But um, if you're playing a game like Warhammer 40k, where a lot of your models are units in an army, well then, um, they don't necessarily need to be, uh, you know, they don't need to have rainbow everything. Unless you're playing the Harlequins, in which case go all out. But um, most of them, after all, they are a unit. And, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it uh, would make more sense. Uh, that's probably been there the whole time and it's bugging me. Bloody cat hairs. Um, but... Um, you know, if you've got a unit, you kind of want a general, like, okay, think about this, you know. not Like, look at the U.S. Army during uh, the Second World War. Uh, most of their uniform was a shade of green or green. Uh, don't worry about the paint getting on the stand, because we're going to paint that brown anyways. Uh, you know what, yeah, we'll do that now. Uh, you'll see why I'm painting it this in a moment, because I will do a quick uh, basing tutorial as well. We're just going to do the whole model. Uh, right, so we got... Can I just wipe it away with your thumb? I mean, I'm, I'm going to gloss the uh, base, but, you know, let's do it. Um, just kind of make it cleaner. And get his shoes. Boots, shoes, whatever. Um, those are boots. No? Don't worry about being sloppy on the uh, boots because they're not really too much of an important part. 
of the model you're just wanting you to you really uh, the biggest thing you want is to know what parts of your model are going to be the brightest for example with orcs it's usually their flesh with Eldar space marines or uh, you know knights or uh, um, uh, guardsmen or uh, you know uh, like um, iron golems and things like that it's usually going to be their armor or uh, something along the lines of that Right, so I think we've painted long enough till his flesh is dry. So now um, we're going to highlight it once more. So the colour Bob is going to get slapped with next is Laureen Forest. Now um, you could use a number of colours, it doesn't matter. You could even take your dark green from earlier and just add white and it would have the same effect. Uh, so Bob here is going to get... A little bit of a highlight going and he's gonna look real nice so I'm gonna grab a smaller flat excuse me a uh, flat brush and uh, we'll kind of be really careful with that because uh, we do have smaller details that um, we don't want to mess with now Uh, so during this step, you just have to remember, uh, don't worry about, you know, mistakes and all that. Uh, just kind of, you know. Uh, any parts that are uh, being shaded by the light or whatever, um, I'll, I'll go back over them. With this I just kind of noticed because I'm looking at the camera. But, um... You'll only want to do this part for raised areas, so kind of like only the spots that really show. So it's kind of, you know, only showing, you know, his like big beefy orc muscles. Um, and, you know, it, it's, it's just the areas that are, uh, need a little more paint there. Uh, just the areas that, you know, again, light will hit. Because you kind of want to think of it uh, from the tabletop. Now, this is a really close-up look at the model. But um, what you really should do is um, take the model and hold it a good three, you know, a good arm's length in front of you. Uh, because that's how um, likely, you know, that's the closest you'll likely look at it from the tabletop. But yeah, you kind of just want to slap the areas that light would um, hit most. And any areas that you would think would be shadowed, just leave the uh, dark green. It's kind of a highlight thing, you know. It, it's, you know, I've never been good at like edge highlighting, like the lines and all that. Uh, I'm more of a, uh, I'm a bit more of a, uh, you know, a dry brush type guy. Uh, if you want edge highlights, uh, well, you're not going to find much of that here. Uh, I'm more of a more of a casual painter. I'm not, you know, I'm not uh, I'm not an expert or anything. I just do this for fun, and you know, you, anyways, yeah, just kind of get the areas that really shine out. Like his face, uh, and I just you want to work in there that really kind of sickly green, and uh, we're gonna go over it with another uh, kind of layer of it, um, and we'll do like super fine details in. Uh, well, that'll probably be last step, it's like really, really fine details. Uh, nothing much, you know, just kind of, yeah. Um, I mean, if you want, feel free to cover the entire model in this. Uh, this colour, like all his skin, because we are going to be doing a um, another step. 
Uh oh, no, handgun, oh wait, sorry. We are going to be doing another step of this, so maybe you kind of are um, obsessive about that. There are obsessive dry brushes that want the whole model to be the dry brush colour, and I can't blame them. Uh, because it. I know what OCD is like, it's not fun, <laughs> especially in this hobby. Uh, remember, don't strive for perfection, because if you strive for perfection, you'll never get the model finished now, will you? Let's get his knobby little knees there. Let me just, yeah. Nice little, uh-oh. Um, let's kind of get a little, uh, kind of slap his knees. And, up, just a little ear. There. There are some details that I might not notice on account of my um, attention problems, so I apologise if that happens. But, um, you know, I mean, if I could do this stuff with attention problems, then you can do it if you're normal. Or even if you have, uh, even if you have shaky hands, there's a method for uh, bracing them. I learned that uh, a while ago because I drink a lot of caffeine. But yeah, there's your little uh, highlight, right? So, got dark brown uh, kilt. You got this quiver, which. I missed a spot. Oops. Um, and you got his. Uh, again, don't worry about. Uh, we'll, we'll tidy all of this up. Um, in later stages. Now I'm not going to cut it and you know just be like, oh, do this and then cut and it's done. Because then I won't learn with you. Because I learn by teaching other people, and other people maybe. Well, uh, teach, show somebody this video, then I can, you could teach them. I, I, I don't know, but I learn um, from other, by teaching others. And so, uh, this is helping me just as much as it, I'm sure it's helping you. Hopefully it's helping you. If not, we'll, sorry, go to another YouTuber. That's kind of what it's for. Uh... And uh, here we got our kind of second stage uh, orc here. Yeah. So um, I'm going to um, kind of wait for the the skin to uh, dry and. Um, uh oh. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. Alright. Um, we will be doing finer details in just a minute. I'll wait for the skin to dry and I'll wait for his quiver and arm guards to dry and he will be rip roaring and ready to go for stage three um and i'll fix some of my mistakes as well so um i will see you in like a millisecond <laughs> 